All right, keep track of the date today because exactly one year from now, your regular driver's license will not be enough to get you through airport security. Starting on October 1st, 2020, the TSA will require you to have a real ID compliant license or another form of identification. Fox 12's Kelsey Watts explains. Not everyone in Oregon is going to have to get a real ID, but if you plan on flying, experts say it is highly recommended. Oregon is one of the last states to offer real ID, and the DMV will start rolling out the new licenses in July of next year. But that's only three months before the TSA stops taking your regular license at airport security. So there's an important thing you can do now to avoid the rush next summer. Get a passport or passport card. Those will be accepted at airport security, and you can apply for one today rather than waiting until the last minute. You might be wondering, what if I don't fly? Do I still need a real ID? The answer is no. The driver's license that you have today, or the ID card you have today that's issued by Oregon, nothing changes. It's still accepted for the same purposes that it's accepted today, except for at airports to get through security. So what is Real ID? It's part of a federal law that was passed after 9-11 to establish national standards for state-issued ID cards. The idea is to protect the integrity of your identity and enhance security by cutting down on fakes. Which is something that's really important to us because we need to establish the identity of our travelers because unfortunately there are some bad people that travel at times and we want to know who it is that's traveling. To learn more about the requirements, there's a website with a lot of answers to your questions. We'll have that link for you on our website at kptv.com. Reporting at PDX, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.